Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to Floor 62 of the Shinra Building in Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time, well, last time we climbed up, like, basically all of the stairs. Um, and this time we're gonna do some, a little less stair climbing, although still some. I mean, just saw, well, you didn't actually, I kinda didn't I? All the same, I guarantee you there'll be at least a little bit of stair climbing in this video. Oh? The Deputy Mayor. Interesting. Hmm? And who might you be? You all must be be those ahem. Oh. Nair in name only. Everything is run by Shinra. Everything So basically, you're an accountant. Or a librarian, you know, whatever. Ah. Uh, okay, we want to get this on the first try. Yep. Help. I think I literally don't have 500 gil. Okay, well in any case, I know what hint he's going to give me. Oh no, I do have 500 gil. Basically, it works like this. If we come in here, we can go in here. There are a whole bunch of books in here, right? But, in each section, there's one book that is out of place. That, that is misfiled. So this seems to be urban planning. Midgar, 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 Midgar. Biological characteristics of ancients. So I'm gonna write down. I'm actually gonna write this down. I don't. I think this password is randomized, although it could be mistaken. This is a one, and it is in the urban development planning. Whatever. Same diff. Now, you know, this can just probably... There we go. Yeah, urban development. Scientific research. Data experiments. Data experiments. The Genova Project. Files on Dr. Gast. Ancient history. It might be the history. Uh... No, I'm betting it's the reactor. So, science is a six. Then up here, the space development. Okay, diminishing macro energy and planet movement. That might be space related. Modern history of Midgar space program. Failed space mission. Breakdown of soldiers by members by class. That could be space, but I'm betting it's that one. Shinra rocket. Yeah, it's this one. So, in space, we have another one. And finally, In peace preservation slash weapon development, read the military. Land weapons, material production, rank, ranks and extended use of wep macro weaponry, peacekeeping law, anti shinra activities, modern history of space program, 16. So, army is 16. Now here's the only problem. I now have my numbers, but I don't know what order to put them in. Uh, was there a save point on 61? I feel like there should be. Hey, stair climbing! 
But I don't recall actually seeing one. There is no safe point on this floor. Well, that is quite unfortunate. As I really want to save so I can, you know, get this item from the guy. I mean, it's not the end of the world if I don't get it, but it would really be preferable if I do. Oh? Oh, okay. The numbers correspond with letters. Wait, I have two ones, though. What? E D E F. I have two A's and an F? That cannot be right. That cannot possibly be right. Okay. I must have gotten something wrong in the urban development. planning. No, that's a one! Shit. Okay. Okay, we're gonna need to figure this out. It They don't correspond directly as I thought. So, um... Okay, so. One letter would be A. Six is... F. What is 16? Uh... Cheat. Sixteen is P. I don't like this. It can't be the number of times letters appear, because nothing appears 16 times, and also, I have two ones. Uh... What it... I don't know. Hmm. Okay, what is six letters after B? It would be G. That doesn't make any sense either. Okay, well, it has to be either Bomb or Hojo, because I have two repeating numbers. Hmm. I think it's probably Bomb? Oh, I got it right! Oh! I actually am not sure... No, I'm gonna need to look that up, because I'm actually not sure on... I logic that out. But I am uncertain as to... the, uh... thought process that would actually turn those numbers into those letters. Because it wasn't one for one. Like, even if you start at 0 instead of 1, like if A is 0 instead of 1, that gets you two Bs, but it doesn't get you O or M. Oh, actually, that's... Okay, I'm actually really glad I got that. That's... I mean, we'll eventually get this later, but that is, like, super useful. Okay, I need to rearrange this stuff, because... wait. No, I'm going to give this to you, actually. This will give, I want to say, 50% electrical damage to my Weepon. If I give it, if I put it on my armor, it would be 50%. It would basically give me electrical resistance. It would cut all electric damage in half. By comparison, uh, well, by comparison, not, you know, don't put sense on. Sense is useless. This is actually a really good one to level up. I mean, all of them are good to level up, but... With this one, level 2, you'll be immune... On armor, you'll be immune to an element. Level 3, you'll absorb it. So, level 3 element material is actually super useful. Because you 
use it to make yourself immune to all sorts of stuff. Plus, in the short term, we're in a place that's full of robots. Okay, this part, this one is next. If we talk to the computer, it will give us the power to open up three doors. And there are three coupons in here, behind different doors. I need to remember how to get at, as well, the coupons. There's one in particular that I know I want. Uh, okay, let's see. I know if I get into that one in the middle, I will be able to access one of the other ones. But not both, necessarily. Hmm. But ideally, I want to be able to get in this one, this one in the middle as well. Like, sorry, I know if I can get on the one on the right, I can get on the one on the left as well. But not the one in the middle. I want, I don't want to get on the one in the middle. So I need to remember how to actually do that. Basically, I need to get to the middle using opening only two doors. Uh. Maybe. Oh yeah, this this will work. We did it. I just yeah, pretty much. Now that we're here, I can climb into the air duct. No, no, don't, don't climb out. Which is handy because I can use it to get to the one on the right side. And there's only one doorway between this one and the one in the middle. And the one in the middle, I'm pretty sure, is the best coupon. Like, I'm pretty sure it provides the best item. No, like, go, go up, up, up! There we go. Like, I want to say one of these gives you an elixir, one of them gives you equipment, and one of them is like a, I don't know, either or a high potion or something. I don't remember which is which. We'll find out, though. We will find out shortly. And as an added bonus, we can exit this away. Save ourselves the walk back. You can. This is exit only, though. You can't climb back in, in through this. Kuban exchange. Okay, star pendant, four slots, and all materia. Okay, so I was actually totally lied. I mean, don't get me wrong, and all material is, is good, but those other two things are more immediately useful. Star Pendant is the very first accessory we've got. It makes you immune to poison. Four slots is armor that, gives you, that has four slots. Go figure, right? Uh... Now, I can give this to Tifa if I want, but I also want to use my all... Yeah, you know, I can do this. Then again, what would I just... What would I give her? Like, freaking... I don't want to give her sense, but I am going to give her the four slots. Okay, uh... If I'm going to do this, I'd rather you have the lightning. I guess I'll give you sense. Then we'll do this, and this. Ta-da! All of my materia is now set. Although this is basically dead weight. It's gone as soon as I get more materia. I do not care at all about... Okay, I wonder, just remind... Throw out a reminder here. I want to equip as many materia as possible, even if I'm not necessarily going to use it. Because then I'll get more AP on it, and it'll level up sooner. Since, first of all, it doesn't do anything useful, and second of all, um, oh yeah, napping. That's nice. Uh, also, no? Uh, what was I saying now? Right. And, and in addition to doing nothing useful, it is also, it also doesn't actually level up. It only has the one level, and that's the mastery level, and you don't get anything for hitting it. I saved over this slot. I should have done it, like, down here. Whoops. Whatever. It's not a big deal. 
It is not a big deal. Mm hmm. Sure, let's try it out. What? Jammed? Bag on it! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. We're worth every gill. I mean, I can do this now, but also, in addition, in addition to being hilarious, I actually have some reasoning here. We will get a... Th we... Well, I mean, I shouldn't say will, but we can get a thing for doing that. Much later in the game. Oh, it's shower room. Cool. I don't think there's anything in there, though. Maybe I can, like... Oh, I can totally steal stuff from the lockers. Yeah, I know. What else is in here? There is a phoenix down. Those are worth, like, two... I mean, I don't know how much I could sell one for, but it would cost me, I want to say, 250 to buy one. So, if so, that alone... W oh, okay. I can sell an either for 750 So, that definitely made up the 250 gil I just spent. <laughs> that is interesting, though, that there's a megaphone in there. Neat. Well, time to go to 65. Actually, I think I'm gonna maybe... How many floors have I done? I have done four... No, I've done three floors this episode. Uh... Sure. I'll stop up here. No, I won't. Never mind! I've changed my mind. I'm gonna complete this floor first. Okay, basically this is actually quite simple. These open in a certain order, and we need to open them in a certain order. It's a little bit annoying because it doesn't tell you. Um, you sort of just need to test them all until you get them all. Wait, what are you? Hammer Blaster. I don't think you have anything I care about. But let's try this anyway. Yeah, this was an echo screen. That is ba that is mostly useless. There is one enemy here I think that can confuse you, but I mean, you know what else cures confusion? Hitting them. Uh, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Insert piece. And a box opened, but we don't know which one. Probably one of these. Oh, yeah, that was it. You see, were I to design this, I would probably make it so that you can open the the boxes in any order, but you can only open one at a time. So you still need to run back and forth between boxes, but you'll always get to them in the right order. It would... It would be a little bit cheaty, but it would save the player's time. While still maintaining the same basic structure. And in fact, it would probably feel pretty good, because it would feel lucky uh, to actually get everything in the correct order on your first try, before you realize that it was totally rigged in your favor. <laughs> Incidentally, check out Sector 7, yo. It has seen better days. Uh, I bet it's the one in the stair- Oh no, it's this. Okay then. So, I believe there's- One, two, three- Actually, there's only six of these. There's seven slots. I guess one of these was already fixed beforehand. And of course, Sector 7 is totally wrecked, so we're not going to be putting anything in there. Okay, what is it this time? Okay, these guys. So, you can steal hypers from these, which aren't that useful right now, although they could be. You can use hypers... Actually, I think I talked about this in the previous video, but 
you can use hypers in order to increase the damage you take in battle, which is useful. Okay, I almost got a miss there. Um, which is useful because it also makes your limit increase more quickly. It also, in addition to that, it also cures sadness, which is primarily what I'm going to be using it for. Sadness is basically the opposite of the hyper status. You take less damage, or you deal less damage, rather. And your limit break fills up. Your limit gauge fills up more slowly. Okay, can I actually go into the right room, please? Thank you. I could have sworn this was the last one, though. I thought the staircase was second to last. I guess I'm just, just remembered wrong. Okie dokie, then. Indeed it does. And... Keycard get. You sort of have to wonder who, put, who bothered putting the keycard in here, though. In any case, I'm going to leave off for real this time. So, until that next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. And have a great day. Bye!